One of the things I find a little bit annoying about the 707 is how uh, clunky the clip launching is. Um, because there aren't enough physical buttons and you're probably using them for other things like muting and scatter effects, um, it just involves a lot of um, scrolling and it's just it's a bit cumbersome. Um, so I started looking for a device or an app or something that would allow me to externally launch the, the clips. Um, and I came across an iPad app, app which works perfectly. Um, I have the iPad connected to the um, 707 with a iRig MIDI 2. Um, so this is going from lightning into, uh, into the adapter and then 5-pin MIDI just straight into the back of the uh, 707. Now the app is called MIDI Pad um, and it was currently $2.99 on the UK App Store. When you open it up, um, you basically just get a default um, page full of um, pads um, which you need to edit. So if you click on the edit button, um, you'll see you can set rows and columns of any number you want. Now, obviously, for the 707, we want uh, eight columns because we've got eight tracks. And then the rows is the number of MIDI clips, which will just depend on how big your projects are. Once you've done that, um, you then go to the pad editor and you select a pad. Now, the way the 707 handles this stuff is program changes per track are what um, trigger the clips. So um, the program change number for track one, pad one, is one, one. For uh, pad two, it's one, two, and so on. So you just need to select the pad, scroll through to the program change thing, and then set the channel and um, program numbers to the right numbers. One, one is correct. For the second pad, we need it to change it to one and two. This would be one and three so on and so forth. Um, so if we just come out of there, this is a, um, a, a pad that I've completely configured for the 707. Um, so we've got eight tracks, um, six clips per track. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just play one of the, the default um, projects, that demo projects that came with the 707. So you can see here that now we can launch the clips with this iPad app. And it works completely seamlessly. The quantizing um, for uh, clip changes is intact. It just works perfectly. Now this is completely new to me. Other people might have found this already. Um, but for me, this is a game changer because it means you can basically have the iPad um, sat next to the 707. You can use the pads for muting and for scatter effects. Um, it completely frees, frees you up and it almost becomes a bit like playing Ableton Live with a push or something like that. Anyway, um, that's it. I hope that was useful and thanks very much for watching.